Hi again, Pierre in the garage. Uh, in this uh, first episode, uh, we'll uh, talk about some issues I had with this uh, rotary head I bought like uh, sometime, you know, quite a while ago, but I uh, uh, had an issue with the actuator to uh, mechanical gears and everything. That's been fixed. Uh, I mean, you know, the, the issue was bothering, bothering me the most is the chuck on this. It was like about 15,000 uh, run out on this uh, because uh, previous owner just I don't know if he uh, how, what kind of a machinist he was but uh, the uh, adapt the adapting uh, plate on this was uh, you know wrongly machined you know, like a machine in a way where uh, it wasn't centered and everything so we'll address this issue and the uh, first episode will be mostly for um, how we get the thing set up and uh, how we uh, plan to uh, do the um, you know the, the corrections the uh, that imposes uh, to get a decent chuck. Let's uh, get on the way and uh, hope you enjoy this. My main solution to address this problem is to uh, rebore larger this uh, surface inside this you know like uh, this bore inside, make it large enough to put a bushing inside there, and adjust to the uh, the head that's you know uh, that that will fit snugly on the on the head and then I'll be like uh, very close to zero run out as we can uh, see there they uh, this is the back of the the chuck that's a normal chuck that you know meant to be mounted with the d14 uh, studs in there the holes are there and they're retaining screws to uh, the uh, D pins not to unscrew are you know right beside, and uh, the previous uh, owner uh, or anyway the one who adapted this chuck to um, go to the rotary table bored this out of concentricity of fifteen thousand uh, thousand uh, you know fifteen thousandths of an inch off you know like a total run out so this has to be addressed because you know like a a tool with that much run out means is unacceptable. Okay, I got uh, this is a 1000 per division uh, dial indicator, and uh, I think we're pretty much within uh, within a few tenths. And uh, to get this straight, it's just by uh, it's, an <laughs> it's done, so I'm not going to do it, but it's just by tapping a little bit and really fixing the um, fixing that registrable base against the parallels there a few adjustments tighten up the uh, chuck okay I've got about uh, hmm just after loosening it I've got about seven six seven thousandths of run out so you adjust the run out on this a little bit like you would do on a four jaw bye playing with it okay ah, we're not too bad oops it's not much more complicated I'm going to go about half a thousand there. Um, okay, I can gain a little bit there. Oops, it's getting a little harder. You got a little bit less than half thousand. I guess you want to see. Hey, you're a curious bunch. There we go. Or a few, uh, a few tenths, like maybe, uh, maybe four or five tenths. 
Okay, this is after uh, retightening up the uh, the screws in front of the uh, the chuck. Uh, had to do a little bit of fiddling around, and I think we're pretty close. Now recheck the front. Okay, after fiddling around, I hope you can see both meters pretty well. Uh, no, I don't see them. Okay, the one in the front, and the actual one and the uh, vertical one. So this is half thousand per division. The other one is one thousand per division. I think we're pretty uh, we're pretty good to go. Hey, then the way now I chose to address this with a boring bar, uh, stout as possible. It's going to be mostly interrupted cut. We're going about 375 RPMs. Uh, this is cast iron. Protect the late bed. Z0. And we'll start uh, taking some material off. Put in gear. And let's try this. We're very lightly touching. Seems to be doing a clean cut. Bottom. Okay, that's where we're going. Uh, I'm not going to be too uh, piggy on this. I'm going to be taking about 10,000 at least to get it uh, kind of rounded off. Taking about 15,000. Let's take a few more thousands. Let's see, we're at 30. Now we're digging evenly into the uh, the bore. Okay, the cuts I'm taking now are taken by hand, just to uh, alleviate for the uh, interrupted. Uh, I'm taking fifty thousandths on a diameter. We'll be back after uh, a few more cuts, slow and boring. Okay, I'm starting to turn uh, material to make a sleeve. I uh, have to, uh, I don't have a pipe or uh, anything that's three, uh, three inches and 950 thousandths. Uh, so I have to make uh, room for it. I'm using some kind of a spade drill. This is a carbide, uh, carbide tip spade drill. No need center for this. Just start it up. And it's going in. And needs just pressure. There we go. Nice hole, I think it's about an inch. This is the type of uh, drill it is. Shaft is one inch there, like a uh, 25 uh, millimeter. That's pretty solid. <laughs> 